Thank you. Thank you, lovely. Thanks. Thank you, and welcome to Bonfire Night Games Master, an orgiastic Catherine wheel of video game news, tips, reviews, and challenges. So, keep your dogs and pussies safely locked up inside in case there are any big bangs. And let's go over to everybody's favourite sparkler, the Games Master. Greetings, and welcome to the Games Week. I am delighted that you've chosen to join me for another batch of video game teasers. It can get a little lonely out here on the rig. Tonight's first young pretender to game-playing glory will need to indulge in a spot of mole patrolling on the Super Nessie. With the aid of a bazooka, 17 of these hapless mammals need to be blasted out of the ground in under one minute. But beware. While purple moles should be dispatched without hesitation, pink ones should be avoided at all costs. Proceed with caution. And keeping the moles in the holes under control tonight, from East London, please welcome Adam Freeman! <laughs> This is for you. Now, this is a totally different video game altogether. Yeah, this is a bazooka and you hold it on your shoulder and you need quite a steady hand to use it. OK, and you've had a couple of practices. For this one, you've got to get 17 moles in a minute. How well have you been doing? Well, I've played it once, so it'll be quite a tough challenge. OK, then. Right, Adam, if you'd like to assume your position here and uh, get ready to start. And guiding my aim in the commentary box tonight is Jeremy Dalsby from GameZone. Welcome, Jeremy. How are you doing, Dominic? I'm very well, thanks. Now, what's the major lesson to learn from this game? Well, the major lesson with this game, Dominic, is to avoid the pink moles. And what do the pink moles do, Jeremy? They make the blue moles go a hell of a lot faster. OK, let's hope Adam learns that lesson. So, Adam has got one minute in which to dispatch 17 moles. Adam, are you ready? Take aim, and off you go. And off he goes. In the bottom left hand corner, you have a number of pink hearts. They've just gone down by one there because he's dispatched one blue mole. They will continue in this fashion until he reaches the bottom. He's only got 11 left. He's doing remarkably well. He's doing remarkably well. He's still got 40 seconds left. Well, all the blue moles come up at random, so he's, he's doing well. He's got a lot of luck on his side. This and he's, he's only got eight moles left, and he's only been gone for 25 seconds. This boy's doing remarkable, Jeremy. He's a prodigy. <laughs> he certainly is. OK, he's only got six left. He's, he's nailing all of them. He's doing oh, no, he's hit a pink yeah, one. Pinky, and what does that mean? Well, they've all speeded up now. They certainly have. They're going out the clever series. He's only got 18 seconds left, but he's only got six blue moles to get. But it's very tough now. But after a while, will they slow back down again? They slow down again after a while. There's a few pressures. OK, he's got five moles. He's only got eight seconds left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. He's got two to get. So, with only two moles left to get, unfortunately, Adam has blown out on this challenge. Well, thank you. Adam, that was desperately close there. You only had two moles left. Where did it go wrong? I think it was when I shot the red mole by mistake. All right, then. Well, listen, you've still given us a brilliant challenge tonight, so let's have a round of applause for tonight's contestant, Adam Freeman! <laughs> Our three reviewers have landed on the helipad, eager to sample tonight's wares. So let's find out what we've cooked up for them in our review section. This week we have a measured tamper with the past as we look at historical simulations. First up on the Super NES, keep citizens happy with a firmer pound in SimCity. It's absolutely endless and the pleasure is phenomenal and even if you get brilliant, which I nearly did, uh, you've got this option of introducing huge disasters like tidal waves which wipe half your city out and you've got to begin again. You want to sack the council and lynch the planners? You got it. You want a massive erection in the middle of the high street? You've got it. It's all the fun of building Without the dirty hands and the builder's bum, definitely one for the collection.
on the PC, become one of those wacky pre glasnost secret police funksters in KGB. The graphics are gorgeous, the idea is intelligent, and there is a serious challenge here. There's options galore, and it's the type of game that you'll keep coming back to again and again and again. Now it's time for our competition. At one time or another, we've all felt an urge, a creative desire to sow the wild oats of new video game ideas. To quell this urge, we'd like you to design your own game with Amos, the mega-selling software package which simplifies the whole game designing process so even the least cerebral amongst us could produce the kind of games funking about here. Not only will we feature the most pant-wettingly brilliant one on the show, but this may be your chance to become a programming legend. If your game is commercially viable, has the power to beat other games that the industry produces. Europress Software will market that game and you will receive royalties and an advanced sum. So get writing games now. If you wish to rally to Richard's passionate battle cry, the games that you send in to us don't necessarily have to be completed as long as you support your entry with some artwork and design notes. Send your games to Games Master Designer Game Competition, PO Box 91, London E14 9GT. The closing date is January the 1st, 1993. Some more advice on how to part with your pennies. Now, for the first time ever, Games Master has disassociated himself from the abject depravity of our next challenge. So while I wind my way back up to the playing arena, I hand you over to our guest announcer, British Bulldog. This is the British Bulldog of the World Wrestling Federation. It's your chance to take part in the rustle and bustle of Super WrestleMania for Super Nintendo systems. You've got to do anything to win. Backdrops, body slam, suplex. You've got to have your opponent kissing the canvas because the first fall decides the victor. And heed the words of the British Bulldog. Nobody likes to lose. I said my piece. Back to you, Games Master. There was only one man in the whole of the WWF who was hard enough to take on Bulldog's challenge. Please welcome the ferocious might of Hacksaw Jim Duggan! Now, Jim, I take you on myself tonight, but I don't want to get my jacket creased. No, 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 that's not the way we do it. Oh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, I want to do it fair and square, so we'll ask for some volunteers out of the audience. How about it, folks? Any volunteers up there? Let's see some hands. OK, we're going to tackle Jim Duggan. I think they're too scared, Jim. I think they're bottling. But I flew all the way over here this morning, to especially to play this game. I'm and so these folks don't want to play this game. So a matter of fact, I don't think I'm I want to talk no. to you anymore out no. here. So let me make it fair and square. I've got one thing in mind, and that's to play some games, WWF Super Nintendo. And I'm going to play. Here I come. This way. Here I come. You guys want a piece of me? How about it, boys? It's just a matter of time. How about you? How about you? How about you? How about you? Where am I going to find somebody? Yo! Yo, go! Oh, we find someone. Round of applause for our brave volunteer. What's your name? Hayden Croft. And where are you from, Hayden? Birmingham. And how do you fancy your chances against Hacksaw? Well, uh, he can probably beat me in real life, but on the game, I'll just, I'll just flash him like. Let me tell you something, tough guy. You might be rough once we get up there, but I've been working these thumbs all week. I'm ready for you. Okay, if you'd like to see who wins this fearsome grapple, Hayden Croft or Hacksaw Jim Duggan, join us after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. 
saw Jim Duggan flew out to the games master rig and has caused absolute mayhem by plucking a sacrificial challenger from the midst of our audiences. With me in the commentary box is our very own Steve Carsey. Welcome, Steve. Thanks, Tom. It's great to be back. Now, Steve, we've got young Hayden Croft playing yeah. Hacksaw Jim. What tips can you give both of our well, challenges? I'm extremely excited about this challenge. I really, to be honest, I can't give them that much advice. These guys know what they're doing. They've got to go for a pin as early as possible. Okay, whoever gets the first fall wins the challenge. Hacksaw, Hayden, are you ready? Then off you go. So we can see that yeah, got savage. Hacksaw Jim Duggan yeah. is Macho Man Randy Savage in the round. Oh, nice flex, straight away. Trousers, uh, Hayden Crock is the Undertaker. So using the ropes there. Black. Using the ropes to undertake uh, No, he's... Does that give him a bit more speed there? Oh, 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 nice throw there. Lovely throw. Lovely throw from Hacksaw. He missed okay, the a bit of hold here. He's running out of the way just in case he tries to pin him. At the top of the screen, we can see the energy bars. That's right. Randy Savage's energy bar is slightly lower, so yeah. Hacksaw is slightly behind at this point. Okay, and here they go. They've got okay, another grappling again. He's going to oh, there's another backbreaker. The again there. Excellent. And he's down. Oh, he's kicking oh, him out Oh, no. It's Sporting Dominic. I don't think it is. This wouldn't happen in British. Hit it, hit it. That's it. Okay, now another little slam. Oh, dear. That's too painful to watch. It made my eyes water. The Undertaker's energy was too high, That's Steve. right, he threw him off straight away, I had no chance to stop. Maybe this could be it, he's got no energy left. Come on, pin him. Pin he's him. facing around, I don't know why he's in. He's, he's, he's taunting him. him. Okay. Ross getting one, two, two three. three, yes. That's it, it's all over. All over by Axel Jim Duggan, which means Hayden Croft is the winner. Must be ecstatic just now. Yeah. Brilliant fight. Tell us some of the things you were doing to, to beat Hacksaw. Oh, I was trying to get him in the throw and suplex him loads of times and tread on him and drop on him and everything. So like wear him down. And then I was gonna like just pin him and then that would be it. And, and it was. <laughs> <laughs> Hacksaw, I know this is this is quite a big defeat for you. I tell you, I've been in the ring a lot of times, but I never had a guy on me like that. He was suplexing me. He was arm barring me. He was giving me the wizard. He was all me. Everything I tried, he had a counter move. All I can say is, I've been beaten by a better man today. Well, not only has Hacksaw been beaten by a better man, the better man walks away tonight with the Golden Games Master Joystick! I think I should go to the pit. So Hacksaw Jim Duggan, I think I'll take the pet to the pit. Oh, he's off. He doesn't need any prompting. Consultation Zone. Hello, Games Master. What is your query? I've heard there's a secret exit leading off the Cheese Bridge area on Super Mario World. Can you tell me where it is? Please don't question my knowledge. Of course I can. Normally, you would leave this level by the first set of goalposts. However, there is a second set of goalposts hidden a little further on. To reach them, simply take to the air and dive beneath the first exit with heavy exuberance. Got it? Yes, thanks a lot. Who's next? On level 2-1 of Bart Simpson's Space Mutants, I can get to floating platforms, but I can't get past the spinning lollipops. What am I doing wrong? There's an easy and rather ingenious way of solving this problem, young man. Then 
jump up and down on it. Be calm. I'm still... I'm terribly sorry about that. The sort of... About that. This heat spray does tend to play havoc with one's calibration. I think I've managed to sort it out now, so let us continue. Um, as I was saying, there's a rather ingenious way of solving this particular problem. Jump onto the second moving platform, then jump up and down on it three times. It will then automatically transport you over the object that's been giving you so much trouble. Got that? Yes, thanks. Good. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. How can I help you? On Super Tennis, I've heard there is a way of improving your player stats. Please, can you tell me what it is? You can indeed improve your player's ability in Super Tennis, but it's a laborious process, so listen carefully. During a game, press the select button to call out the score. Then, use it controller 2, enter the following. R, R, left, down, B, A, L, L. If you've done this correctly, you should hear some applause. Then press either A or B back on controller 1 to call up a block of numbers and letters. Single out each digit with the control pad and alter them with the X button. When all the digits on the first two rows are F, your player will be in top form. Have you got that? Yes, thanks. That brings our little communion to a close. Heed my advice until we meet again. So some more unhappy souls have been enlightened. But will our final challenger be berated or congratulated? Let's go back to Games Master for his task. My last offering is a supernatural battle to the death on King of the Monsters 2. The primeval brutality of a Tyrannosaurus called Super Gian will be pitted against the high-tech gadgetry of a robot called Cyber Woo in a best of three fight contest. Please don't forget to use each monster's spectacular array of special moves, such as the bone-shattering backdrop and the hellish heavy hip attack. I do find them most amusing. May the best monster win. Now, we've got a couple of special challengers here. Auntie Marisha begged for the chance to try her arm at this, so we had to agree. And we've teamed her up with someone of a similar youthful spirit. So please give a warm welcome to Auntie Marisha and Letty Edwards from Bristol. <laughs> On your pump. All right, Annie, how are you? Very well. Good. All right, great. Okay, now, Auntie, what made you choose this challenge? Because it's, it's a good game and I like a good scrap. <laughs> okay, great. Now, listen, Letty, do you play your grandchildren a bit of the game? Sometimes, they're a little bit young. The, seven, the seven year old's learning, she's very good. Uh -huh, so, who yeah. usually wins? Um, I'd rather not say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure we're, we're getting ready for a titanic contest here. So if you'd like to, Annie, if you'd like to take the left-hand seat, Letty, if you'd like to scoot over to the right, and we'll get ready to play. And joining me to watch this epic battle is Sega Pro's Dave Perry. Dave, welcome. Well now, Dave, it's good to see some older games players here, but how do you think they'll cope with a game like this? Is that a complex game? Well, it's not too complex, no. It's, it's basically just a matter of, of, of whacking the hell out of each other. I mean, there, there are several power-ups you can collect and special moves that the various monsters have, but really, it's, it's ideal for a granny grapple. OK, so this is the best of three. It's a best of three match, so are our two competitors ready? Then, off you go! OK, so um, Auntie Marisha is the reptilian Super Geon in the green, and Letty has opted for Cyber Woo there. Now, Auntie Marisha, you see, Super Geon picked up a bomb, which she doesn't want to do because... Oh, my God, I've got to talk to you. Oh, oh, dear, Auntie Marisha there. Yeah. Picked up Letty. Flying yeah. in there. OK, I must point out here, they've got two energy bars at the top of each screen there. On the yeah. left-hand side, when you've got Auntie Marisha's one, on the right-hand side, you've got Letty. So Auntie Marisha's slightly ahead, Dave. Oh, oh. no, it's another back spike there. That is not too good. Manny Marisha. Oh, and Annie oh, Marisha takes the gone. first round. Letty's gone. Cyberwoo explodes, so it's first blood to Annie Marisha. 
Excellent. Oh, Wonderful yeah, here we go for the second battle. Off no. again. Well, what a base. Oh, she's picking up all. That was a good start by Letty. They're picking up the building. And she got a power up. You know, she changes colour. She's now more powerful. She wants to go and get that L. That's an extra bit of life force. Oh, no, where's Dixie? Oh, no, oh, That's a beautiful oh, yeah. special move. She's Blasted her. Blasted her. Okay, so, super oh, now they're in the water. And I mean, Letty's got amazing risk oh, of going no. rusty here. Another one, Lay may be getting rusty, but there is no rust on that so. <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, Super Gion should be actually, sh should be surpassing herself in the water. Yeah, oh, no, it's his thing. Oh, I didn't mean to take a bit of a bite out of Lay to that. A pretty underhand tactics here, isn't it, dude? <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> Love fight and a half. I wouldn't they're have wanted that one. They're not giving it. They're not giving it. Two faces isn't going to get rid of that Oh, no, yes, no, he's got a crash out. He's close into the air. Oh, oh big, big daddy back. slam. And straight oh, oh. One Okay, I think they're it's really going to be who can get the power ups as quickly as possible. Oh, lovely little, lovely little, little jump there from Letty. Oh no! Way! No. Hey, Letty I'm, slam! I'm Letty going hey, there for the there. Andy Reach on her back Andy again. Still with the oh no, what's going to happen there? Who's going to get it? It's a good one, folks. Andy Reach is on the Cyber Woo gets wasted on the back it's of it. But they're still pretty level there. Who's going to go? Oh no, it's the Cyber Woo's now. This is so Letty slam! Unbelievable. Now it's Andy Marisha. Oh, no, I think Andy Marisha has gone. Andy Marisha has gone. Lady's the winner. She's strong. OK, thank you. Andy Marisha. Now, you said that you'd like to get your teeth into her again, but you were hacking great chunks out of Letty there. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Thank you. Well, it you did, did very well, considering that you're not, you don't play the games that no, much, Auntie Marisha, no. but you had a, did a good account of yourself, didn't you? I did, yes. <laughs> now, Letty, I pity your grandchildren. If that's how hard you are at the games, that was some game, wasn't it? It was. I really enjoyed it. It was very, 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 very good. That's good. And a yeah. worthy competitor for you? I thought she was brilliant. OK, well, yeah. we'd, love to, we'd love to be able to split the joystick down the middle, but unfortunately, we can. Auntie Marisha, you can come and have a look at my joysticks I in can. the back after, OK? But the winner of tonight's golden joystick is... Letty Edwards! <laughs> okay, so that's another round of applause again for Ati Marisha and Letty Edwards! Thank you! Okay, good night, good night. another show to a close. We're off for some of Auntie Marisha's winkles and well sputum sauce. Please don't miss next week's show, one of the biggest ever. Not only do we have the American Gladiators video game, we've also got two of your favourite British Gladiators, Shadow and Jet. If you miss this one, you deserve your forehead to be slapped vigorously. See you next week. Good night.